Charles Ruggles, an accomplished actor, was a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden age. Born in 1887, he starred in over 100 films throughout his career, spanning over half a century. Ruggles gained recognition for his comedic timing and versatility, making him a beloved figure in the industry. In the 1930s, he became a household name with his roles in classic films such as Bringing Up Baby and The Awful Truth. His performances in these films earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a comedic genius. Throughout the 1940s and 1950s, Ruggles continued to shine in various roles, from comedies to dramas. He starred alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Cary Grant, Katharine Hepburn, and Bing Crosby. Ruggles' work in television was also noteworthy. In the 1960s, he appeared in several popular shows, including The Beverly Hillbillies and Petticoat Junction. His ability to adapt to new mediums and maintain his charm and wit made him a beloved figure among audiences of all ages. Despite his success, Ruggles remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to work well into his 80s, earning him the title of one of the oldest working actors in Hollywood. Ruggles passed away in 1970, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. Charles Ruggles was a well-known actor who starred in many films and shows during Hollywood's golden age. His career spanned over five decades, and he became famous for his comedic roles and distinctive voice. Perhaps one of the reasons why Charles Ruggles has remained an enduring symbol of the industry is his ability to bring laughter to audiences while also showcasing his versatility as an actor. He could play a range of characters, from bumbling sidekicks to authoritative figures, and always delivered a memorable performance. When was the first time you recognized Charles Ruggles? Maybe it was in his role as Mr. Belvedere in the 1948 film Sitting Pretty, or as the lovable but clumsy Uncle Charlie in the 1970s TV show The Courtship of Eddie's Father. Do you have a most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into the life and career of Charles Ruggles, you'll discover many funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you engaged and entertained. So, keep watching this video to learn more about this beloved actor. Born in Los Angeles on February 8, 1886, Charles Ruggles came from a family deeply rooted in the arts. His father, Ernest Ruggles, was a prominent figure in the theater scene, which exposed young Charles to the world of acting at an early age. Following in his father's footsteps, Charles began his acting career on stage before transitioning to film. Growing up, Charles was captivated by the classic comedies of the time. He often watched Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin films, which greatly influenced his comedic style. These silent film stars inspired him to develop his unique brand of humor, characterized by physical comedy and impeccable timing. In the early 1910s, Charles Ruggles started working in vaudeville, where he met fellow actor and mentor James Finlayson. Finlayson, who later became known for his work with Laurel and Hardy, taught Charles valuable skills in physical comedy and facial expressions. This mentorship played a crucial role in shaping Charles's career as a comedic actor. As Charles ventured into film, he continued to learn from other industry professionals. He worked alongside notable actors and directors such as Ernst Lubitsch and Gregory LaCava, who further refined his comedic abilities. These collaborations not only expanded Charles's skill set, but also solidified his status as a respected figure in the industry. Charles Ruggles' upbringing, early exposure to classic comedies, and mentorship from experienced actors significantly influenced his path as an actor. His ability to adapt and learn from those around him allowed him to develop a successful and enduring career in Hollywood. Charles Ruggles was an actor who significantly influenced the film industry during his era and beyond. Debuting in the 1914 film An American Citizen, he went on to appear in over 100 films and numerous stage productions. Throughout his career, Ruggles was known for his comedic timing and versatility. He excelled in both dramatic and comedic roles, often playing the lovable sidekick or the comedic relief. His ability to bring humor to any situation made him a fan favorite and solidified his place as a Hollywood legend. Ruggles' contributions to Hollywood extended beyond his acting abilities. He was a founding member of the Screen Actors Guild, which fought for fair wages and working conditions for actors. Ruggles was also an advocate for the use of closed captions in films, making them more accessible to deaf and hard of hearing audiences. One of Ruggles' most memorable roles was in the 1939 film Bringing Up Baby alongside Katharine Hepburn and Cary Grant. His portrayal of Major Horace Applegate 
a stuffy and uptight museum curator, provided a stark contrast to the film's comedic leads and added to the film's overall charm. Ruggles' influence on the film industry continued long after his death in 1970. His comedic style and versatile acting abilities have inspired countless actors and actresses who have followed in his footsteps. His contributions to the Screen Actors Guild and advocacy for closed captions have also left a lasting impact on the industry. In conclusion, Charles Ruggles was a trailblazer in the film industry who left a lasting impact on Hollywood. His comedic timing, versatility, and advocacy for fair wages and accessibility have inspired generations of actors and filmmakers. As a young boy, Charles Ruggles was captivated by the magic of theater. He would often accompany his father, a prominent theater critic, to various shows and performances. It was during one of these outings that the actor's passion for the craft was sparked. He was completely enthralled by the energy of the performers on stage, the vibrant costumes, and the enchanting stories unfolding before his eyes. One evening, during a performance of a classic Shakespearean play, something extraordinary happened. A seasoned actor, playing the lead role, suddenly fell ill backstage. With no time to spare, the director turned to a young Charles Ruggles, who was sitting in the audience, and asked if he could step in and save the day. Without hesitation, Charles agreed, and, in that very moment, he found himself on stage, reciting lines, and performing in front of a live audience for the very first time. From that day forward, Charles Ruggles knew that he was destined to become an actor. He pursued his passion with unwavering determination, studying the craft and honing his skills. Over the years, he would go on to become one of the most beloved and respected actors of his time, leaving an indelible mark on the world of film and theater. In the world of radio, the actor Charles Ruggles was no stranger. On July 10, 1939, Lux Radio Theater broadcast a 60-minute radio adaptation of the movie Ruggles of Red Gap, with Ruggles, Charles Lawton, and Zazu Pitts reprising their film roles. In his personal life, the actor was also closely connected to the film industry. His brother, Wesley Ruggles, was a director known for his work on films such as Cimarron and Bolero. The actor's career spanned many genres, and he was known for his wise and humorous performances. In The Parent Trap, he played the role of Charles McKendrick and gave the sage advice that the mother and daughter should spend time alone. This mirrored the wise lessons he imparted as the voice of Aesop in the Rocky and Bullwinkle shows Fractured Fairy Tales. Throughout his career, the actor left a lasting impact on the industry and continues to be remembered for his contributions to this day. His work in radio, film, and television has resonated with audiences and left a mark that has transcended time. Charles Ruggles, a talented actor, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Born into a wealthy family, he found himself penniless after his father's business failed. This financial struggle forced Ruggles to seek work in the entertainment industry, where he encountered skepticism due to his privileged background. Despite the obstacles, Ruggles remained determined to succeed. He began his career on the stage, where he faced rejection after rejection. However, Ruggles' resilience shone through as he continued to perfect his craft, taking on any role he could find. Eventually, Ruggles' talent was recognized and he transitioned to film. Yet, even in this new medium, he faced further challenges. The actor was often typecast in comedic roles, which limited his opportunities to showcase his full range of abilities. Undeterred, Ruggles embraced his comedic persona and became a beloved figure in classic films such as Bringing Up Baby and The Great McGinty. He even found ways to incorporate his dramatic skills into his comedic roles, adding depth and nuance to his performances. Throughout his career, Ruggles faced numerous obstacles, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. Yet, he remained resilient, finding creative solutions to overcome each hurdle. His determination and talent ultimately earned him a place as a respected and beloved actor in classic Hollywood. Charles Ruggles is best known for his role as Major Applegate in the classic film Bringing Up Baby. Interestingly, Urquio had to borrow him from Paramount for this role. In 1942, the actor married Marion LaBarba, who was previously married to featherweight boxing champ Fidel LaBarba. Both Marion and Charles were animal lovers, and at one point during their marriage, they had amassed a total of 94 pets. During his early years, Charles Ruggles appeared with several stock companies. He made his stage debut with the Alcazar Theatre Stock Company, where he initially found employment as a super. He also performed with the Oliver Morasco Stock Company and the Frank Leak Stock Company. These experiences helped shape his career as an actor in this classic.
In the early 1910s, Charles Ruggles began his journey in the film industry. However, it wasn't until the 1930s that he experienced a significant breakthrough. This transformation occurred when he started collaborating with director Gregory Lacava, known for his comedic touch. Their first project together was The Half-Naked Truth in 1932, where Ruggles played a supporting role. Critics praised his performance, highlighting his comedic timing and ability to steal scenes. This marked a turning point in Ruggles' career, leading to more substantial and varied roles. In 1935, the duo collaborated again on She Married Her Boss. Ruggles' portrayal of a charming, yet mischievous character was widely appreciated. Peers and critics alike acknowledged his unique comedic style, which added depth to the characters he played. A pivotal moment came in 1936 when Ruggles starred in Bringing Up Baby alongside Katherine Hepburn and Cary Grant. This classic screwball comedy is considered one of the greatest films of all time. Ruggles' performance as Major Horace Applegate, a somewhat eccentric and uptight character, was highly acclaimed. His ability to balance humor and drama in this role further solidified his status as a prominent comedic actor. Throughout the 1940s and 1950s, Ruggles continued to deliver memorable performances in various films and television shows. His work in The Smiling Lieutenant, The Great McGinty, and The Lady Eve gained critical acclaim. His collaborations with directors like Ernst Lubitsch and Preston Sturges further elevated his career. In summary, Charles Ruggles' breakthrough moments were marked by his successful collaborations with notable directors and his unique comedic style. His ability to bring depth and humor to his characters led to critical acclaim and solidified his place in Hollywood history. In the classic film Alice in Wonderland, the actor brought the character of the March Hare to life. Interestingly, he later collaborated with Edward Everett Horton, who played the Mad Hatter on Fractured Fairy Tales and The Bullwinkle Show. The actor voiced Aesop for the Aesop and Sun segments, while Horton narrated the Fractured Fairy Tales segments. Both men shared the same birth and death years, 1886-1970. In the film Ruggles of Red Gap, the actor's last name coincidentally matched the last name of the leading character. The actor played the role of Egbert Flaug, a perfect fit for this classic comedy. The actor's accomplishments extended beyond the screen. In 1953, he became the president of the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. This recognition highlighted his contributions to the television industry and his impact on audiences. Throughout his career, the actor left a lasting impression on the world of entertainment with his work resonating with generations of viewers. His legacy continues to captivate audiences, and his contributions to both film and television remain an enduring testament to his talent and versatility. Charles Ruggles, an actor known for his comedic timing and versatility, had a unique approach to his work. He once said, I've always believed that an actor should be able to play anything, from a king to a cabbage. This statement reflects his belief in the importance of adaptability and range in acting. Ruggles' natural charm and wit were key elements of his style. He often played affable, bumbling characters, but his performances were never one-dimensional. He brought depth and nuance to each role, making his characters relatable and endearing to audiences. The actor's personal experiences often influenced his work. For instance, his Midwestern upbringing informed his portrayal of wholesome, down-to-earth characters. His worldview, shaped by his experiences and values, was also reflected in his work. Ruggles was known for his integrity and professionalism, which earned him respect and admiration in the industry. In his film and stage performances, Ruggles demonstrated a unique ability to balance humor and drama. He could elicit laughter with a well-timed quip, then tug at heartstrings with a poignant moment. This skill set him apart from many of his contemporaries and made his work truly distinctive. Ruggles' approach to acting was characterized by his dedication to the craft. He once said, I've always tried to give my best in every role, no matter how small, it's not about the size of the part, it's about what you do with it. This commitment to excellence is evident in his body of work, which spans decades and includes many classic films and shows. In conclusion, Charles Ruggles' artistic vision and process were shaped by his belief in adaptability, his natural charm and wit, his personal experiences and his dedication to the craft of acting. His unique style and approach continue to resonate with audiences today, making him a beloved figure in the world of classic film and theater. In 1947, the actor Charles Ruggles attended the world premiere of Ramrod in Salt Lake City, along with other Hollywood stars. This premiere was a significant event, as it took place during Utah's centennial celebration as a U.S. territory. 
Throughout his career, the actor received three stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, honoring his contributions to radio, motion pictures, and television. His star for motion pictures is located at 6264 Hollywood Boulevard. And if I had a million, Charles Ruggles played a character named Mr. Peabody, whose boss was named Mr. Bullwinkle. Interestingly, these names are also associated with the popular 1950s. 60s cartoon show The Bullwinkle Show. Ruggles himself had a recurring role on the show, voicing Aesop in the Aesop and Sun segments. And if I had a million, the actor's character, Mr. Peabody, worked for a boss named Mr. Bullwinkle, which is also the name of one of the main protagonists in The Bullwinkle Show. The actor even had a recurring role on the show, further connecting his film career with this classic cartoon. Charles Ruggles, an actor who graced the silver screen for over half a century, left an indelible mark on the film industry. His unique comedic style and impeccable timing brought joy to many. Ruggles' ability to seamlessly transition between slapstick and more sophisticated humor made him a standout. In the 1930s and 1940s, Ruggles became a fixture in screwball comedies. His performances in films like Bringing Up Baby and The Awful Truth showcased his talent for physical comedy and his knack for delivering witty lines. Critics and audiences alike adored his work, with one critic noting, Ruggles' comedic timing is so precise, it's as if he's conducting a symphony. Ruggles' influence extended beyond his own performances. He mentored several young actors, including Jimmy Stewart. Stewart once said, Ruggles was more than a mentor. He was a friend and a guiding light. His comedic genius was unparalleled, and his influence on my career was immeasurable. The actor's impact is also evident in the trends that emerged in the industry. Ruggles' success in screwball comedies paved the way for similar films in the following decades. His ability to balance humor and drama also influenced future comedic actors who sought to emulate his versatility. In addition to his work in film, Ruggles also made significant contributions to the world of radio and television. His performances in radio shows like The Ruggles Family and The Charles Ruggles showcased his ability to adapt to new mediums. In television, he appeared in several variety shows and sitcoms, further solidifying his status as a beloved entertainer. Despite his passing in 1970, Charles Ruggles' influence remains palpable. His unique comedic style and versatile performances continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today. As one industry expert put it, Ruggles' contribution to the industry is immeasurable. He not only entertained audiences, but also paved the way for future generations of comedic actors. Charles Ruggles, known as Charles McKendrick in The Parent Trap, was the elder of two sons born to Charles Sherman, a traveling pharmaceutical salesman, and his wife, Teresa Maria Heinz Ruggles. After graduating high school, Ruggles worked for the same pharmaceutical company as his father, but left soon after due to lack of interest. In The Parent Trap, Ruggles plays the role of the girl's grandfather, a renowned character actor for many decades. Fans of Rocky and Bullwinkle may recognize his voice, as he provided it for the character of Aesop in 50 episodes. Before his role in The Parent Trap, Ruggles and Una Merkel starred together in Murder in the Private Car in 1934. The actor's career spanned several decades, and he left a lasting impact on the film industry. His contributions continue to be cherished by fans of classic films. Charles Ruggles, the actor known for his comedic roles, had a rich personal life that informed his work. He was a family man who cherished his time with his wife and two children. His love for his family often translated into his on-screen roles, as he frequently played warm and loving fathers. Ruggles was also an animal lover and had a menagerie of pets, including dogs, cats, and even a monkey. His love for animals often found its way into his work, as he frequently appeared in films with animals or played characters with a fondness for animals. In addition to his love for family and animals, Ruggles was passionate about philanthropy. He was involved in several charitable organizations, including the Motion Picture Relief Fund, which provided financial assistance to members of the film industry in need. Ruggles was also an active supporter of the USO, performing for troops both at home and abroad. One of Ruggles' most notable philanthropic efforts was his work with the American Cancer Society. He was a longtime supporter of the organization and served as its national chairman in the 1960s. Ruggles was dedicated to raising awareness about cancer and worked tirelessly to fundraise for research and treatment. Ruggles' personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work as an actor. 
His love for family and animals, as well as his commitment to philanthropy, informed his on-screen roles and off-screen activities. Through his work, Ruggles left a lasting impact on the film industry and on the many charitable organizations he supported. Charles Ruggles, a Los Angeles native, passed away exactly 30 years before Victor Borge. In one of his most memorable roles as Charles McKendrick in The Parent Trap, he faced a peculiar problem. While filming a scene with Maureen O'Hara in the bedroom, he had no place to put the ashes of his cigarette. The writer and director, David Swift, suggested a solution based on someone he knew who put the ashes in their hand. Ruggles, in his casual manner, followed suit, letting the ashes fall to the floor a few seconds later. After his death, the actor's personal memorabilia and awards were donated to the Department of Special Collections at the UCLA Library, preserving his legacy for future generations. This generous act allows fans and researchers to delve into the life and career of this classic Hollywood star. The collection likely includes photographs, scripts, and other items that offer a glimpse into Ruggles' life and career, providing valuable insights into his contributions to the film industry. The story of his casual cigarette ash disposal in The Parent Trap adds a touch of humor and humanity to his enduring legacy. Charles Ruggles left an indelible mark on the film industry with his unique comedic timing and versatile acting style. His legacy can be seen in the many classic films he starred in, such as Bringing Up Baby and The Great McGinty. For aspiring actors, Ruggles would likely advise them to hone their craft and never stop learning. He once said, the more I know about acting, the more I realize how little I know. Ruggles believed that there was always room for improvement and growth as an actor. Furthermore, Ruggles would emphasize the importance of staying true to oneself and not getting caught up in the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. He famously turned down roles that he felt were not a good fit for him, prioritizing his artistic integrity over fame and fortune. As for the future, Ruggles' legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. His classic films remain popular and continue to be discovered by audiences today. Who knows what the future holds for the film industry, but the values and lessons that Ruggles embodied will surely continue to resonate with aspiring professionals for years to come. In 1924, a tragic event struck the family of actor Charles Ruggles. His mother was tragically shot and killed at their home, having stepped between her husband and another man. This heartbreaking incident left a lasting impact on the young actor's life. Later in his career, the actor took on the role of Egbert Floud in the classic film Ruggles of Red Gap. In 1945, the Screen Guild Theatre broadcast a 30-minute radio adaptation of the movie, with Charles Ruggles reprising his film role alongside Charles Lawton. In addition to his work in Ruggles of Red Gap, Charles Ruggles also starred in the beloved film The Parent Trap. Co-starring with Una Merkel, who, like Ruggles, was a Tony Award winner, the film remains a classic to this day. Charles Ruggles' talent was recognized with a Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a play for his role in The Pleasure of His Company in 1959. He would go on to repeat this role in the film version of the play. Merkel, too, won a Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a play for her performance in The Ponder Heart in 1956. Their combined talents and achievements made for a truly memorable film experience in The Parent Trap. Charles Ruggles, a remarkable actor, graced the entertainment industry with his passion and innovation for over six decades. Born in 1886, he started his journey in silent films and transitioned seamlessly into talkies. His versatility was evident as he effortlessly switched between comedic and dramatic roles, always leaving a lasting impression. In the golden age of radio, Ruggles lent his voice to various shows, demonstrating his adaptability and commitment to his craft. He then transitioned to television, becoming a familiar face in many classic series. Despite the changing landscapes of entertainment, Ruggles remained a constant, his talent and dedication shining through in every role. Ruggles' impact extends beyond his performances. He was known for his innovative approach to acting, often bringing a unique perspective to his characters. His ability to infuse humor into serious roles and vice versa set him apart from his peers. This knack for blending genres added depth to his characters and enriched the stories he was a part of. The power of creativity and perseverance is evident in Ruggles' enduring career. His ability to adapt to new mediums and maintain his passion throughout his life serves as a testament to the resilience of an artist. His journey reminds us that creativity and determination can lead to a fulfilling and impactful career in the entertainment industry. 
In 1925, Charles Ruggles faced a personal tragedy when his stepfather was tragically killed by a streetcar. Despite this, the actor continued to pursue his career and achieve significant success. In 1959, the actor won the prestigious Tony Award for Best Featured Actor in a play for his performance in The Pleasure of His Company. This accomplishment was particularly notable as he reprised the same role in the 1961 film version of the play. Additionally, Charles Ruggles showcased his skills in the 1930 film Her Wedding Night, where he played the character Bertie Berg. During the production of this classic, a billiards championship was held between takes, with Ruggles, Clara Bow, Rosita Mar Reno, and Geneva Mitchell. All participating, Bow emerged as the winner, sinking a straight run of three. These anecdotes highlight the actor's talent and dedication to his craft, as well as his ability to balance work and personal life during challenging times. Charles Ruggles' contributions to the world of film and theater continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. Whether through dramatic performances or lighthearted games between takes, the actor left an indelible mark on the industry and those who worked alongside him. In the film Trouble in Paradise, the actor Charles Ruggles played the role of the major, one of Madame Calais's rival suitors. Interestingly, both Ruggles and his co-star Edward Everett Horton lent their voices to the Bullwinkle show, with Ruggles narrating the Aesop and Son segments and Horton narrating the fractured fairy tale segments. In Ruggles of Red Gap, the actor took on the character of Egbert Floud. A radio adaptation of the movie was broadcasted on Academy Award Theater on June 8, 1946 featuring Charles Lawton and Charles Ruggles reprising their film roles. The actor was also known for playing Charles McKendrick, Maggie McKendrick's father, in The Parent Trap. The best scene in the film is arguably when he finally stood up to his overbearing wife, Louise, played by Kathleen Nesbitt. Overall, the actor's contributions to classic films like Trouble in Paradise, Ruggles of Red Gap, and The Parent Trap have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. As a true veteran of Hollywood's golden age, Charles Ruggles left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. With a career spanning over half a century, this actor graced both the big and small screens with his unique charm and impeccable comedic timing. In films like Bringing Up Baby and The Great McGinty, Ruggles demonstrated his remarkable ability to hold his own against some of the era's most renowned actors. His performances were not limited to comedy, however. He also showcased his dramatic prowess in films such as Intruder in the Dust. On television, Ruggles continued to captivate audiences with his work on classic shows like The Virginian and The Love Boat. His talent resonated through generations, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Now it's your turn to share your thoughts on Charles Ruggles' work and legacy. What are your favorite memories of this classic actor? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's keep the legacy of Charles Ruggles alive.